Welcome back to the Crypto Bar channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, both Bitcoin and Ethereum are continuing these breakouts to the upside. But while this is happening, the DXY is bouncing, which is a new warning signal for both Bitcoin and crypto, which I'll talk about in just a moment. So definitely stick around. First of all, starting off on the weekly Bitcoin chart, and right now the price of Bitcoin has just run into this next level of resistance, which is sitting at around $42,000. And obviously, this has happened only just after we confirmed a breakout above this previous area of resistance, which was sitting in between around $36,000 to $38,000. And obviously, we've seen a weekly candle close now above $38K, and basically the moment we confirmed this breakout well above $38K, once again, and as I said in recent videos here on the channel, the next resistance that we should be looking at here on the weekly time frame is sitting at around 42,000, which is exactly where the price of Bitcoin has gone to. So at least for now, once again, 42,000 can now act as a resistance, at least in the short term. But if we end up seeing a confirmed breakout above 42,000, then in that case, the next significant level of resistance on the weekly time frame is sitting at around 48 to 49,000. And as for support this previous area of resistance once again in between 36,000 to 38,000 should now act as new support for the price of Bitcoin in case we see a pullback. And obviously in terms of the trend here on the larger timeframes like the weekly chart for example, we are still clearly trending in the bullish direction. So like I've been saying since the very beginning of this year, I'm still very bullish on the price of Bitcoin here on the larger timeframes in terms of the larger bullish trend. But obviously throughout the larger bullish trend, we can experience some short-term pullbacks along the way. And these short-term pullbacks here on the weekly chart look more like bearish trends or short-term bearish trends on smaller timeframes, like the daily Bitcoin chart, for example. Because as you can see right here in between around the middle of July and around early September in that time period right there, and also in between around the middle of April going down towards around the middle of June in that time period right there, these were short-term bearish trends. But of course, if you zoom out to the weekly time frame, these were just small pullbacks within the much larger bullish trend. And so in case you're new to this channel or new to crypto, obviously it is important to understand the difference between the different time frames. For example, on the weekly chart, we can still be remaining bullish this entire time while also experiencing some short-term pullbacks along the way. But also here on the daily time frame, in terms of the shorter term trend, of course, we are still looking bullish in terms of the short-term bullish trend as well on the daily Bitcoin chart, because at least as of right now, we have not yet actually confirmed any bearish reversal signals. Like for example, if you're looking at the price structure as of right now, we're still seeing higher lows and higher highs, which is bullish price structure. That is a bullish trend. And as for the daily Bitcoin MACD, of course, this has just recently crossed in the bullish direction, as I said in my last video, once again, pointing towards an increase in bullish momentum, which is exactly what we have seen over the last one day as expected. And now obviously there is a potential potential bearish divergence here, a potential new bearish divergence forming on the daily time frame, because at least for now, the price action is still forming higher highs, while the RSI, at least as of right now, is still sitting in lower highs. But as I've explained in recent videos here on the channel, this potential new bearish divergence on the daily Bitcoin chart is not yet confirmed. Because for example, if the price of Bitcoin just continues pumping to the upside as it has been doing recently, that can pull the RSI further to the upside. And if the RSI breaks above the this previous high, then obviously that would mean higher highs in the RSI alongside higher highs in the price, which means there would be no bearish divergence. And so that is why we need to confirm this lower high in place in the daily Bitcoin RSI by actually seeing a rejection, a short-term pullback in the RSI, actually confirming the lower high in place, which right now has not yet happened. And so once again, overall, in terms of the trend and momentum on the weekly chart, of course, and also here on the daily chart, we are still currently looking more bullish than bearish. We have not broken the bullish trend, but we need to pay attention to a possible warning signal right now, which is in the DXY or US dollar index. This is on the daily time frame, And what we have seen just recently in the DXY is of course a bit of a bounce back to the upside. And now this bounce isn't necessarily large enough to fully confirm a bullish reversal from this short-term bearish trend into a new bullish trend. Because for example, if you're measuring other bounces that we've seen throughout this pullback, so 
far. This bounce back up here, that was around a 1.2% move to the upside in the DXY, or this bounce right here, that was around a 1.6% move to the upside in the DXY. And obviously, those bounces just there occurred within the short-term bearish trend here in the DXY. And right now, as of recording this video, from the local low, we are up around 1.2 to 1.3% here in the DXY with this small bounce. And so perhaps if we see around a 2% bounce or higher than that in the DXY, that is when we could start looking towards a possible bullish reversal, especially if you measure from the local low, 2% above that, a 2% bounce from the low would put the DXY right at around 104.5. And if you're placing a horizontal line on the chart at that exact level, at 2% above the local low, we can see some confluence around that level, like for example, this previous high acting as a resistance and also a bit of resistance just here and also a bit of short-term support just here. And so basically, if we see a breakout above this line right here, that is when we could potentially start flipping a little bit more bullish again on the DXY, which would actually be a bearish signal for Bitcoin and crypto. Because as you can see here on the daily Bitcoin charts, looking at the price action, the Bitcoin price in the candlesticks and the DXY here in the red line, also on the daily time frame, as we can see, these two have almost a perfect inverse correlation, a negative correlation. So basically, usually when we see the DXY bullish, that is bearish for the price of Bitcoin and vice versa. If the DXY is pulling back, that is almost always bullish for the price of Bitcoin. And so essentially, I would not be expecting any significant pullback, like a 20% pullback in the price of Bitcoin, unless we start to see more of a bullish reversal here in the DXY, which could happen if we start breaking out above this level, once again, at around 104.5 in the DXY. And also, we are currently bouncing a little bit here in the DXY due to the fact that the RSI on the daily time frame recently entered into oversold territories. And what's interesting is the last time this happened in the DXY RSI was right at this local low, just before a bullish reversal. So this is a potential warning signal to pay attention to. And obviously, if this bounce does end up continuing in the DXY and breaking out further to the upside, which could be more of a bearish signal for Bitcoin and crypto, of course, if that continues to play out, I'll make sure to keep you updated here in these videos on this channel. So make sure you subscribe with notifications turned on so you don't miss out on these important updates. And speaking of updates, giving you a quick update here on the six hour Bitcoin chart on this bullish breakout, which I talked about since all the way back down here at around 37 to 38,000. And as I said, all the way back down there, we should be looking for long positions with a price target at around 41,000. And obviously, over the last one day, we have definitely hit that price price target. In fact, we have exceeded that price target, hitting up towards 42,000, hitting that resistance once again on the weekly time frame. And so with this specific trade right here, remember I entered a long position around the point of the breakout, which I shared publicly here on the channel with that take profit close to 41,000. Due to the fact that this ascending triangle pattern has now completed, we have now completed and hit the technical price targets. For this specific trade right here, I have now closed the majority of the trade, around 90% of the trade I've closed. I've taken a lot of profits off the table. And now obviously I still hold a lot of Bitcoin on the spot market, just holding Bitcoin in cold wallets, for example. But when it comes to this leverage trade right here, this specific breakout trade, of course, we had a plan in place to take profits around the price targets. And personally, once again, I am following that breakout plan because this is the plan that I've used for years now, and it has been very profitable in these breakout situations. And now once again, I've closed almost all of the trade, but I have kept a small amount of the trade open just in case we continue further to the upside. It's basically a risk-free trade at this point because I've moved my stop loss well into profits. And once again, I've already taken a significant amount of profits off the table. I've closed more than half of this trade right here. And if you're wondering where I took this breakout trade to maximize my profits to the upside, I did of course take this trade over on Bybit and I'll make sure to leave a link to Bybit in the description down below and in the pinned comment if you want to maximize your profits in crypto, no matter if we're bullish or bearish. And in fact, if you use that link down below this video to make a Bybit account, you can get up to a $30,000 deposit bonus, but only if you use that link down below this video. And now there's some countries around the world where you may 
not be able to access Bybit in. And so if that's the case, there is also Bitflex, which is another crypto exchange, very similar to Bybit, but you don't need KYC with Bitflex. And so I'll make sure to leave a link to Bitflex in the description down below and in the pinned comment. And if you use that link to make a Bitflex account, simply deposit $100 worth of crypto or more on that account and make one trade over on Bitflex. And that can get you 10 USDT completely for free. And that 10 USDT you can actually withdraw. So it's basically a free 10% return on a $100 deposit. And so if you're trading crypto anyway, or if you're preparing to take the next breakout trade in the price of Bitcoin or any other crypto, then make sure to check out those links down below this video for those extra bonuses. But anyway, getting into the Ethereum part of this video, this is on the weekly timeframe. And over the last one day, we have now seen a weekly candle close above this important area of resistance, which was sitting in between around $2,000 to $2,150. And once again, over the last one day, we have now seen a weekly candle close above $2,150, technically confirming the breakout above this strong area of resistance. And once again, as I said a few weeks ago now on the channel, we already saw this breakout here in the weekly Ethereum RSI, which was basically an early signal, a leading indicator telling us we're likely soon going to see a bullish breakout here in the price, which is now happening as expected. And this bullish breakout in the price only now invalidates if we see a confirmed break back below this resistance, so back below around $2,000. If we break back below that level with weekly candle closes below $2,000, then once again, that would invalidate this breakout to the upside. But at least for now, we do have an active breakout for this massive ascending triangle pattern, which sets up a huge price target near $4,300. And so from where we are right now to that technical price target, that's roughly around a 90 to 100% gain in the price of ETH. So basically doubling your money with no leverage. And now if I were to take a leverage trade for this breakout on the weekly timeframe, personally, I'll be using very low leverage considering this is a much larger move in the price of ETH. But anyway, taking a look at the daily ETH to US dollar charts and like Bitcoin, we are potentially forming a new bearish divergence here on the daily ETH to US dollar charts because at least for now, obviously we have already confirmed higher highs in the price action in the daily candle closes, but we have not yet actually confirmed in place this lower high here in the RSI. And so once again, like I said earlier in the video, we have not yet confirmed this potential bearish divergence. It is potentially forming, but it is not yet confirmed. And so overall, once again, we are still looking more bullish than bearish, especially in terms of the trend and momentum. We have not broken the bullish price structure, forming higher lows and higher highs. And as for the momentum, as I also said in my last video, the momentum has flipped much more bullish again just recently because we have just seen a new bullish cross over the last couple of days here in the daily Ethereum MACD. And if we're taking a look at the eight hour ETH to US dollar charts, obviously over the last few days, we have seen a successful breakout to the upside from this bullish ascending triangle pattern, which I've been talking about since all the way back down here. And so once again, as I've been explaining here on the channel since before the breakout, I do have a long position strategy for this breakout to the upside, which obviously has been executed, which I also explained in my last video. And as I said in that previous video here on the channel, I already entered the long position as a recording my last video. And I mentioned in my last video that if we end up seeing a retest of this previous resistance, personally, I'll be adding to that long position on a retest. But I also said we may not actually see a retest. We don't have to see a retest. And so due to that, I already entered the long position. And right now with this breakout trade to the upside with this long position that I have taken, I've already moved my stop loss into profits. And so it's sitting just above my entry price. So that's in the worst case scenario, if we dump right now, of course, that stop loss exits me out of the trade automatically at that price. Once again, at profit, because it's just above my entry price. And once again, as I explained in recent videos here on the channel, the technical price target is sitting at around 2430, which from the point of the breakout to that price target was a total of around a 14% move to the upside, or from where we are right now, as of recording this video, to that technical price target, that's still around a 9 to 10% move to 
to the upside. But if we're taking a look at the Fibonacci extensions from this previous local high down to this local low, that sets up the 1618 Fibonacci extension right at around 2270 to 2280. So at least for now in the short term, that is acting as some short term resistance. But if we see a breakout above around 2280, then once again, we could just continue further to the upside towards this technical price target. And now, of course, there is the possibility that we just reject from this resistance and continue further to the downside. And in that case, we would invalidate the breakout and invalidate the price target if we see a break below this line right here, which is sitting at around 21.20. And so due to that, of course, we could potentially take a small amount of profits off the table with this trade around this resistance level in case we do end up seeing that scenario play out. But once again, personally, I have my stop loss with this trade in profits just above my entry price so that in that more bearish scenario, if that actually plays out, once again, I don't actually lose out. And now if you actually missed this breakout trade to the upside, of course, there's always more opportunities that will show up in the crypto market. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel with notifications turned on so that you don't miss out on these important updates when I talk about these new breakout opportunities. And in the meantime, while we're waiting for the next trade to take, of course, make sure to set up an account ready to go to take these trades over on Bybit or Bitflex and claim those extra bonuses. Once again, linked down below this video. But if you want to know how to profit from crypto, no matter if the price is bullish, bearish, or simply chopping around sideways, you can profit in either of those scenarios by watching these videos popping up right here on your screen. The video in the top left shows you how to make money if the price is bullish or bearish using AI, and the video in the bottom left shows you how you can easily profit from choppy sideways price action. But anyway, that is everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.